Good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning, the uh, 14th of August. It's about 7.38 in the morning. I'm at uh, Town Center in Virginia Beach, uh, Pembroke Mall. And uh, I'm calling this segment Drive-By Saturdays because I'm going to drive by a few places that have been repurposed. All right, this is the first one. This used to be a Kmart. It closed about two years ago, 2018. And about a year later, it was bought by this uh, floor and decor people. And um, you can see they repainted the building. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty, uh, pretty modern. All right, here's the second stop. This is uh, Michael's. This Michael's used to be a Farm Fresh. And if you're not from the Hampton Roads area, you probably don't know what a Farm Fresh is. But uh, it was a grocery store chain that was in business uh, from the 60s up until about, maybe about two years ago. They closed most stores down. There was one in Portsmouth that somebody um, actually reopened as a Farm Fresh, but it's not the same owner. The president of Farm Fresh was Gene Walters. He died some years back. All right, this uh, used to be Sears and Roebuck, or Sears as it became in more recent years. This uh, Nordstrom Rack. The DSW Shoes uh, was also uh, part of the Sears too. All right, we're on this other side of Sears. This uh, this part is uh, not in use right now. But if we go down, the Fresh Market is also in part of what used to be Sears. And this REI used to be the Sears automotive area I believe they tore that building down and built this one all right we're down the street uh, on Holland Road and um, these are two uh, places that are that have been closed this used to be the big lots um, they closed this store and moved elsewhere And this used to be a farm fresh. This closed about two years ago. Eventually I get around to doing videos on both of these since they're both uh, closed and abandoned now. Alright, Corey here. Um, calling this drive by Saturday so just driving by and taking shots at these places um, this is the area I grew up in when we moved back to Virginia Beach in 1975 from Hawaii my dad was Navy but uh, this San Jose look at it real close and uh, let's see if you can guess what it used to be um, the answer is Pizza Hut and I think they extended the building. It, the building looks longer to me than what it did back in the 70s. And right next to it. I want to guess what this was. If you guess McDonald's, you're right. This was basically my stomping ground when I was 10 years old. There's a a creek right, right behind this McDonald's and somebody cut down a tree and we used to walk across that tree to get to McDonald's and uh, Pizza Hut and everything. 
All right, here's another one that's a blast from the past. And there wasn't many of these around the area, but uh, this was a Safeway in the 70s. All right, here's another one that uh, was repurposed. This used to be a Jack in a Box. And it wasn't Jack in a Box for long. When uh, we moved here in 75, it was. And within a year or two, it closed. And it was the only Jack in a Box in this area. Um, actually in pretty much in southeastern Virginia. Alright, this is another one that's been repurposed. This used to be First Virginia Bank. Now it's a uh, DLM Auto. Alright, this is a school I went to in uh, fifth grade. Holland Elementary School. Alright, last place on the video. This place used to be called Scully's. It was a rock and roll um, nightclub, bar, concert venue, whatever you want to call it. I know I saw Molly Hatchet here in uh, 1996. And about a year later, Danny Joe Brown, their lead singer, had a stroke and uh, it kind of finished that band. But uh, you see what it is called now. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is. I think most people probably figure it out.